You know how products get really hot? Cool. That's a good intro to this video. Let's talk about the fact that uh, you have been living with garbage, garbage computers lately. Your laptop, oh my gosh. Ugh, it only has normal thermal paste? Ew. Ow! Your graphics card only has regular IC diamond? Ew. Ow! Oh, you're using the cheapest thermal compound available? Ew. Ow! That's what Asus says. Asus looks at this normal crap that you've been using on your computers and says, ha, that's not what the BMW of computer parts does because they are now going to be using Thermal Grizzly liquid metal on products going forward. Not all products, just on the super high end ones, which poses a heck of a lot of questions because while a liquid metal allows you to drop temperatures by up to 13 degrees Celsius, which is partially true depending on how you apply it. It actually does make for really good thermal conduction through the heat sink and it, it can actually increase performance because you have lower temperatures. Yes, science! But there are things that go along with this that make it a little complicated. One, you can't use it with aluminum because it reacts and it'll eat away at the aluminum and dissolve it. Two, you can't use it with copper because it actually fuses with the copper and then it'll actually just create this weird little alloy where your liquid metal dissolves and then you're just left with the heat sink on a bare uh, chip thing. Processor, Bob. Anyways, so it doesn't like, you can use it with copper. It's gonna work for a while, but then eventually long-term wise, either they're gonna decrease the warranty here or they've created some new metal that they can use that won't actually react with the, was it gallium alloy that, that comes in liquid metal form? Or, my friends, this is a ploy for them to break their own devices, get rid of warranties altogether and go bankrupt as a company. Either way, there's also the issue that like, if it spreads out and touches any of the raw PCB or any of the little doodads and traces, it's going to ruin it because it's not only very good at thermal conductivity, it's also a pretty good electrical conductive thing as well. Conduit? That, I think that's the noun form of conductivity. It's also a good electrical conduit as well because it's metal, it's freaking metal. So if it touches any of the other things, it's gonna fry your thing. Apparently, Asus says that they're gonna be using some sort of like AI machine learning, quantum tunneling. Can't touch this. Can't touch this. Touch this. Approach to make sure it's only the proper amount. It's not gonna splash anywhere, okay? You're just gonna get the right amount of liquid metal on the die, and you're gonna be totally fine. 13 degrees lower, everything's okay. That's what they're saying. There's a couple issues, mainly the heat sink thing. They definitely aren't gonna be using aluminum. Most, most companies aren't using aluminum. Uh, even in laptops, it's not an aluminum heat sink. It's more or less copper, but then you have the long-term fusion issue. So I wonder how they're gonna get around that by jacking up the price, that's how. Anyways, that's the end of this hot news. Hit the like button if you enjoyed it. Get subscribed, love you too, bye.